Hello everybody, Photo Junkie here from Photo Junkie's Drone Zone. In this video, we're going to take a hike, and on this hike, we're going to take two Minolta lenses. Uh, one's an old MC and one's an old MD. They were built for film cameras probably 15, 20 years ago. Uh, quality is excellent. You have adapters that will hook them up to these digital cameras that I'm shooting with right now. Uh, right now, I'm shooting in 4K, and I'm going to do everything on a tripod so everything will be steady. Uh, we can see how good a photo they take, and the primary mission in this video is to actually test the photos, not the video. So when I'm shooting video, most of it will be on a uh, on a uh, Lumix, was it 14 to 140 lens, which is a pretty good lens too. One thing you have to be careful for in this area is the poison oak. There's literally poison oak everywhere. Alright, we're about a mile up, mile uphill, and uh, I'm feeling it. For years I wore Vasque boots, um, specifically the Vasque Sundowners. They were handmade in Italy, made in Italy, uh, great boots. They would last me uh, three or four, yeah, about three soles, resoles before I would have to get rid of them. Uh, then they started making them in Asia somewhere, uh, machine made, not handmade. And I bought two more pairs after that. Uh, both fell apart real quickly. So I switched over to an American brand named Chippewa. Uh, good quality boots, but they were supposed to be hiking boots and they were not waterproof. Uh, they, would, they would leak. So, got a pair of these things on sale. Uh, lightweight Columbia boots. They're, uh, you know, made abroad, obviously, like everything else. Uh, won't be able to have them resold, but they're comfortable as hell. They uh, keep my feet warm, and basically they're disposable. They're just over 100 bucks, and I'm actually surprised how good quality the uh, boots are for that price. Still going uphill. Very scenic though. Oops, dropped my bag in poison oak. Just kidding. All right, I got the Minolta 50 millimeter on here. Uh, now I'm gonna switch over to the photography mode. I'm gonna take a shot. All right, we're back. We've got the uh, 14 to 140 Lumix lens on. Uh, hopefully we'll find another spot to shoot. Something a little more interesting than that. Uh, light's not so great today. It's uh, overcast, so I'm not gonna be saved by good light. Um, hopefully we'll find something to shoot. This is the view from the bench, and I think since we're here, we'll get a shot of it. Nothing too exciting, but it's all I got. So we'll do this one with the, uh, with the 50 millimeter again. So now we have the Minolta lens on the 28. I'm gonna switch over to fill mode and take a shot. The uh, trail is kind of creepy. I haven't run into a single person except for at the very beginning. And usually there's a couple people you run into somebody and I just heard a lot of rustling in the bushes and there are mountain lions around here and coyotes finally a human all right right now we have on the Minolta 28 millimeter 
and I think this one is the nice one. I think it produces a better image than the 50. Although, I could be totally wrong. All right, just shot that one. F8, F11, F16. One thing I've noticed about the G9 versus the uh, GH2, GH3, and GH4 is that the batteries wear down much quicker. If I didn't use this for video so much, I would probably have a uh, battery grip. We're coming up to a uh, bench that overlooks the ocean. Um, if I keep on going straight, I can go for miles, uh, which I'm not gonna do. And if I decide to go that way, which I'm gonna do, it heads back. Now I'm at about, uh, I've done about two miles, so in total it's gonna be about a four mile hike. All right, I'm videoing this with the 50 millimeter Minolta lens. I'm gonna switch it over to the uh, photo mode and uh, take, I think I'm gonna take two. First test we're going to do is with a 50 millimeter. We're going to shoot Buddha. Next, we're going to shoot the aging Jesus. We did that at f8 and then f5.6. Now we're gonna do similar shots with the 28. 